Hi, welcome to Climbing Daily. Coming up on today's show, we're sport climbing with Sasha De Julian, and we've got an interview with British big waller Finn McCann. Up first, we've got some jaw-dropping footage of US climber Sasha De Julian making a first ascent in Waterfall Boven, South Africa. On her travels, Sasha found an unclimbed but previously bolted line. How often does that happen, lucky girl? I've never done a first ascent before, so that would certainly be a cherry on top. What you experience, you never really know until you try. And when you try, amazing things can happen. I wish I looked that good climbing. What can you do? Up next, we've got an interview with British climber, big waller and adventurer, Finn McCann. An experienced and strong big wall climber, Finn McCann is probably best known for climbing El Capitan in 2013 with his terminally ill father, who sadly passed away some months later. So, well, so I first attempted to climb the nose with my brother in 2009, and Basically, we've just failed because we didn't prepare properly. So we didn't take up the right kit. So it was unfinished business anyway. When dad got ill, I was really keen to be looking out for things I could do with him mm -hmm. because he particularly loved doing things with his sons. Uh, so when I suddenly thought, right, time to get back to Yosemite, there wasn't any sort of question as to who I'd go with. Pretty incredible physical effort, really. No, it was, it was superhuman, I think. Because <laughs> I've climbed routes with friends who have jumared up behind me, and after a single pitch, they're just saying, Finn, I don't know how your, your dad did it for 35 pitches. <laughs> Give me the secret man club, clue me what to do. Give me the power, a man's grand flower, so I can be like you. On the very last pitch, I placed two few bits of gear which meant that the rope was doing some very sharp angles. So when Dad was GMRing up, he literally got wedged at a certain point and couldn't get out. So I had to abseil down actually just to release some of the pressure so he could carry on, which meant that he did a huge swing when I did release him, just out 3,000 feet beneath his feet at this point. Um, but it was great. That meant that we then actually, we GMRed up the last few meters together. So it was great. <laughs> yeah, an amazing feeling, a big hug, of course. And then a few hours hiking down and a massive stake. Can I learn to be human too? What a great story. That's it for today. See you tomorrow. Featuring some excellent mutual backslapping. Chris Hammer hat das Klettern für über Jahre, über zwei Jahrzehnte.